Yeah, thank you. That that division, I mean, the Enlightenment, anti-Enlightenment, um, strikes me as really important. And what I notice people do, I mean, you've commented on the show about people jumping to dichotomies and, and wanting uh, to dichotomize everything and not, um, you know, seeing there are more than two options. Uh, at the most fundamental level, there are always going to be two options. But what I find rare um, is that the things that are conceived as the two options in the culture are the right two and that they map to what I think are the most fundamental ones. And what really strikes me about Rand's work is the way she kind of cuts through to what really is the essential mm -hmm. issue um, or at least challenges you to think that what, what seems to be what's presented as the divide might not be. And I think um, one of the reasons why I love your program so much is that you're the person in the world today who I think is the most doing that, uh, who's noticing the, you know, it's not right versus left. It's not this versus that. It's not um, uh, where you might think it is. So how do you, um, I mean, is there anything to say about avoiding being sucked into the false dichotomies and finding where the real dichotomy is? Yes, I mean, I, I think that's a big challenge, and it's it's uh, a big challenge in the world out there. And and again, it's it's what everybody wants you to fall into, and what I think most people do, even most objectivists, sadly. But I think Ayn Rand taught us this. I mean, she and and you know, I find it wrong to compare anything I do to Ayn Rand because if you look at a cultural commentary in the '60s, the '70s, it is such a work of genius, and it is so deep. And it's philosophical and psychological. And every time I read it, it's like, oh, my God, I, it, I learned something new. Even if I read an essay 20 times, I, I learned something new from reading it again because of just the way she has a unique way of looking at the world and finding those essentials and disentangling things that look like a mess. But then showing you a perspective on them that you would have never imagined. And here I think because she was a novelist, she has this psychological dimension that is so unique. And I, I think... Uh, I don't have it. I think I think it's very rare to find somebody who has that dimension on top of everything else. So she can say things about the motivation of people that I find very difficult to say. But but yes, I think Ayn Rand taught us and Lena Peacock, they, they both taught us how to, uh, that, that it isn't the, the conventional way of looking at the world is wrong, that uh, the, the, the conventional way, even you know, even though, uh, and, and that you always have to look at the world fresh and, and you always have to think about things in terms, of, in terms of fundamentals. And, you know, again, I have to give credit to a lot of the intellectuals because I'm, I'm kind of the spokesman, but there's a, in a sense, the spokesman because I don't really speak for them. But there's a lot of people like you and like Ankar and, and like Tara, who's here in Texas and others who are doing the philosophical work behind that I then latch on and 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 take the principles and apply them and I you know I spent a lot of time with Ankar so uh, over the years when I was at the institute and I learned a lot from him and I think he is very good at catching a lot of these false dichotomies uh, and and false options and he's taught me to do that uh, but uh, but yes I mean it, I think it all goes down to looking at what is the fundamental behind behind what is going on. So, you know, the, 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 the traditional left versus right, right? So Democrats, Republicans. Once you understand, once you, once you dig a little bit into what they're actually advocating, once you dig it a little bit into, into what are they, even just a level of policy, what their actually, actual policy prescriptions are, once you dig into a little bit of that, then you see collectivism on both sides. And we know collectivism is opposed to what we are. So if they're both collectivists, and are they really opposed to one another? They are in some dimension. It's not, I don't think they're the same. They're obviously have, collectivism is not one thing. It's, it's a variety of different applications of collectivism. But the contrast is not each other. The contrast is what we are, and that's individualism. So the real, uh, you know, political spectrum, uh, the proper political spectrum is individualism versus collectivism. And then maybe the collectivism forks into five different types of collectivism, uh, but it's basic, and some of them are associated with the right and some of them are associated with the left, but they're, dis but they're all collectivism and they're distinctly different from one another, but they're not individualism. Clearly, they're not individualism. So once you can see behind what's going on, uh, it, 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 once you understand it, its ideas and its fundamental ideas, I think it's much easier to, to untangle uh, these kind of issues.
and you can come to particular issues, uh, particular debates, whatever's going on in the in the news, with your diagnosis in hand of what the essences of the factions are. So you can, you know, have indications of where you'll expect them to go. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.